the most dangerous port in the Philippines. Are you nervous? This is crazy. This is so intense. Whoa. Whoa. Good morning guys, another beautiful day here in paradise. There's a lot of research here and we're leaving it for uh, today. Right off we go. Thank you so much. It was a great stay. Excellent food. Probably one of the best wow. Filipino food I've had. It was really, it was really good. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay. Guys, just as we were leaving, I noticed something here hanging under the tree. This is a wingspan from a uh, no, not a wingspan from the engine of an airplane. They said it's a Japanese one. They used to land on this island before during World War II. And he told me now they use it as a bell. <laughs> Ding! You can try it. I can try it, okay. Yes. This is the. Oh, is this yes. the one? Let's try it. Here, up or here? Down. <laughs> I hope no one's gonna come now. <laughs> How much Koya? I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> not for sale. Not for sale. <laughs> Steep downhill here. Koya, it's too hot here. All right, just before we depart the island, we've been taken to the old port of Itbayat. They say this is the worst docking port in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. This is the one. Our guy just said this is the worst docking port in the world. <laughs> Shirley, it's really wavy today. Yeah, it is. That's why. We're going to have a pretty epic time. But what I also haven't told you guys is every single boat here in Batanes has a thick layer extra layer in front of it basically a armor so when the dock they put the front of the boat onto the rock or the cement and that armor prevents it from damaging the boat of course now what we got here in front of us is believed to be the most dangerous port in the Philippines and some have been saying that is the world's worst port <laughs> because you can see on the side there's no no protection the waves are coming straight in there's nothing there's nothing damping the power of them going down they'll be hitting the port at full force guys this is no joke and they stopped using this port only two years ago whoa that's what i'm talking about imagine coming in hot and this is summertime so the waves are quite small compared to winter time can you imagine talking over here when the waves are rougher than that? There's no walking on shore. There's only jumping. Would you want to dock here? <laughs> Their life, they have to live here. The struggle, the toughness of those people here. These are the real island. Imagine guys, after a rough sea, rough docking, hiking all the way up here, these massive staircase with all your luggage and the heavy stuff. Whew. What a place. Hello. Why are they not waving back? <laughs> Why are they not waving? Because they don't have <laughs> You know what, Shelly? The waves do not look friendly today. Yeah. It's okay. I'm going to use my power. I'm going to talk to them. Oh, the boat's already finished. That's how steep 
keep it as you can see it there <laughs> in the it's corner. It's gonna stop here, Kuya. No, no, no. No. We're gonna drive and jump into the boat on the tricycle. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Made it. Where's the boat? It's not here yet. Yeah, but oh my god. This is crazy. I can see the boat. Oh yeah. Like a tiny dot there. Guess it's a good timing. The boat should be here within 20 minutes. Whoa! Oh. That is one oh. bumpy run. When we docked here two days ago, the boat was steady and flat. But now obviously it's going up and down. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so we got a pizza. Pizza. <laughs> How much is the pizza delivery? <laughs> Free delivery. <laughs> oh. Whoa. You gotta choose the right timing. When you go on shore, you gotta choose the right timing, the right moment. This is scary. Right timing. Now go, go, go. Oh my god. <laughs> Goodness. This is crazy, guys. Look for the right moment. You gotta wait for the waves. Okay. Whoa! The boat captain is actually putting the engine on. Pushing the boat closer to the boat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you nervous? Yeah. Come on, it'll be fun. Look at that, that's what I was talking about before. The steel barrier in front of the boat. Oh look, it's, it's actually chopping down here. I don't want to say goodbye with it. But the main question is, are you nervous? Kinda. <laughs> Kinda actually. And now for the final challenge, they put in the motorbike on sure. This is gonna be something. Whoa. Balancing and taking up the bike at the same time. Oh, 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 oh. That was close. They're all floating at steam gasoline. And it's so heavy, they have to use the car to pull it up. Oh my god. Boom! <laughs> Explodes. It's almost 12 30, and we've been waiting here for over three hours. We're so tired waiting here in the blazing sun, toasting us, unloading and unloading from this boat. I don't know how you can carry this much amount of stuff. Right, finally going. We've been sleeping for like one and a half hour, guys. <laughs> this has been taking three and a half hours to unload everything here. Two other cement trucks. Crazy how much this boat can carry. And with that said, we had some plans today, but unfortunately, I don't think we can do them. Here we go, guys. This is gonna be interesting because now the boat is way higher than before. Go back. <laughs> the 
body is adjusting to the wobbling. Whew. Well, we'll just try to make ourselves comfortable here and try to sleep on this trip. Alright, off we go, Jolene. Let's take a sleep on the uh, rough ocean. <laughs> <laughs> so bumpy, right? I was just saying, we made it <laughs> back to Pasco. My skin is a little bit tired because we're always moving, so the skin is being my skin is being stretched all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what on earth is that? It's a manual. Thank you. What is that? We got a pickup by Bezumi. They're gonna take us to the hotel. Oh, look where we are. Good afternoon, guys. Thank you, ma'am. Oh my wow. god. That's a big one. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Look at this. We even got three beds. This is insane, Shirley. Okay, which flower do you want? We got three ones. <laughs> Delivery. Oh, thank you so much. But coffee or me? Coffee. <laughs> Jokes aside, we need coffee, of course. We've been, it's been a very long day, but let's give you guys a quick room tour over here. It's massive. Like the name says, it's living up to it. Villa de Babat. Yeah. Villa de Babat. Thank you guys so much for hosting us for the last night here in Batanes. It's been a wonderful trip and uh, what a place to end the trip off. Where's the bathroom? Oh, it's a big one. I haven't Whoa, gone in here yet. Whoa, nice one. Last shower. I hope it's a hot one. <laughs> yeah, actually. We've been having uh, cold showers lately. Yes, especially in Nidboya. They heated the water, brought it up, and then they mixed the cold and the hot water together to get a little bit warm. Shout out to the tea She was lovely, I had the best food ever. Mm -hmm. And then of course desk, finally can work on that desk, it's so nice. But and then, amazing part about this place. The balcony. We have a really good balcony, lovely wooden chairs, and then voila! I can't wait. We should dip in here for sunset. Just check the uh, water temperature, and it's really nice. Ugh, but honestly, guys, I am really exhausted. It's been such a heck of a trip 12, 13, or 14 days straight in Batanes, vlogging, travel, adventuring, hiking. Swimming, jumping, running, <laughs> everything, each and every single day. <laughs> Very extreme, like a, one of the most extreme adventures you can do. And at the same time, we've been filming it together and then I'm editing it like every night, finish up edit vlog and it's been really pushing me and I've been actually loving the challenge. Despite there was like few days that I, I really needed more sleep and I only had like three, four hours, you know, we pushed through and we managed to do that but of course we could have done it without Sherlin oh wow look at this I wonder if the blue flower is edible they bring you a home cooked dinner here it's obviously just for decoration but, um, are you sure maybe it's yeah. edible thanks really <laughs> wait 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 That's wait wait, wait, wait. so this is the flower yeah. and this juice okay there's always something for the first time by the way it's delicious and it's a little bit of calamasi, but I was joking around that this is not edible. Apparently it is. That's pretty good. It's like normal leaf salad, a little bit flowery. This juice is made up out of that one, a little bit added of a calamasi. So fresh, homemade. All right guys, we're about to wrap up the day, but first we wanna go check out the swimming pool. Just before the sunset, oh my goodness, this is my favorite colors of the sky. Look at the beauty. Whenever we're trying to take Instagram photos, it's usually around this time of the day. The best colors. I really like this place. Nice cute swimming pool. Not crazy big hotel, just a fine size. Villa de Baba. Look at this guy. Perfect entry to the Batani Street.
Yeah, we're gonna end off the vlog here, guys. It's been an insane, crazy, phenomenal, spectacular trip. I remember always like two years ago when you when you guys started saying to me, uh, commenting, messaging, go to Batanes, go to Batanes, but I never went. Then I always looked online to see the pictures from the place, do a little bit of research, and and I always thought, ah, oh, this just looks like Ireland or Scotland or Europe. I've seen this before, so I never went, and that has probably been my biggest travel mistake here to do in the Philippines because this might be the number one spot in the country just might I'm not saying anything yet so we'll, we'll see we'll, we'll do another top 10 for sure next year yeah there's a lot of mis when we reflect on this trip and look back and say you know how peaceful and perfect the society is here they may not be the richest or have the most uh, valuable thing but the most valuable thing they have is the value of life and their life is so peaceful, it's so simple, and you can probably value that more than anything. I told Finn earlier that I didn't really want to go back. I asked him, can you leave me here? <laughs> <laughs> but we're going back to Sipu tomorrow. We'll continue the daily vlogs uh, there. I just want to say a uh, special thanks to Villate Babat for our hosting us on the last night. We're a bit exhausted, so what a perfect time to end off the trip. You want to know the reason why we didn't go to the fountain of youth? Right because I think Batanes wants us to come back here. Ah, good voice, Yelid. I think we're gonna end it on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time. Peace, Peace out. out.